I'm Dr. Crystal Brimer. I own a private practice in Wilmington, North Carolina, and 90% of what I do there is dry eye. The keratograph is my patient flow. I use it on almost every patient. If it's a follow-up, I use tear meniscus height to assess the water level, interferometry to show how much oil's in the tear film, and then tear film dynamic and bulbar redness as a reference for inflammation. I'm then able to assess the progress from one visit to the next. It speeds their understanding, it offers encouragement regarding treatment success, and it generates buy-in to my treatment plan. Now, at first, it may seem like taking these few images would lengthen my exam, but honestly, they take less than two minutes to acquire, and by doing this, it actually shaves minutes off my follow-up. When I can actually show the patient, then I spend less time talking. The buy-in is much greater, and the patient has fewer questions. As an added bonus, taking these external photos is a billable procedure. The crystal tear report is a key element in this. It makes an impact on the patient. It helps justify the out-of-pocket expense of the dry eye eval, and it shows them our genuine interest in education. It helps them understand their status, as well as the purpose of each treatment. So again, it cuts down on my in-office education time, and it ensures that the patient has written instructions. I also attach it to my follow-up letter to the referring doctor to help generate additional referrals.